Well, good morning, everybody. Good morning. We're glad you're here. It's Sunday morning. And um, we're having church. You know, the, the wonderful thing I like about the Bible and the way I kind of go, I just preach through the Bible in a year. And today, uh, 26th of, of December, and we got... Uh, the New Testament, Revelation 17. And we're just going to preach on that. And Revelation 17, as you see as we get into it, it talks about the great whore and her fornication. You know, the, you know, the Bible talks a lot about illicit sex. In fact, as we read through the Bible in a year, a lot of times... It hits it in the Old Testament and the New for the reading of the day about adultery or fornication. And um, so I just preach on it as it is. But today it's Revelation 17, the great whore. You know who the great whore is? The Catholic Church. That's the great whore, the Catholic Church. Yeah. We'll read about it and you'll see it. It, it, it names them out. And it talks about the Pope. You know who the Pope is? Antichrist. The Pope is Antichrist. The leader of the great whore. You know, um, I told Gary, my friend Gary, he's my buddy. He'll do anything for me. He ain't saved. I told him uh, that, that he'll love what the Pope says. Uh, he'll love what the Pope says because... the. The sitting Pope, right now, the sitting Pope says that you don't have to believe in God to go to heaven. The sitting Pope, you don't, they used to say you had to be a Catholic to get to heaven. Now you don't even have to believe in God. The, the sitting Pope, one of his little homilies, he said that. And he said, the only thing you have to do to go to heaven is to be a good person and have a clear conscience. <laughs> you know who's good? Ain't none good. No, not one. You know who's good? God is good. You're going to smile before the end of this, Tara. You let God get a hold of you today, girl. Anytime you want to come to the altar, any of you, anytime you feel led, you come up to our old-fashioned altar. They, they accuse Pastor Varga of being Catholic because I got an altar. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. You you get right with God today, Tara. Yeah, some of you need to. Too. Some of you need a tear coming to your eye. Repent. Kneel and pray. Repent today. That's what it says. Got it out front. Michael comes often out here. As he as he gets it. He gets it. The great whore, the Catholic Church. And there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials, and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore. This is the Bible. This is today's reading. Won't you point your finger at me and say, Hey, goes Varga again. Got a rail on the Catholic Church. No, God's railing on the Catholic Church, Revelation 17. Great whore that sitteth upon many waters, with whom the king of the earth have committed fornication. You see, God talks regularly about the filthy, uh, the filthiness of the Roman Catholic Church. The Roman Catholic Church has murdered more true Christians than anyone else. That's why it's the great whore. Especially during... Look at here. Look at the cat dragged in. <laughs> Never know what's going to show up. <laughs> Whom the kings of this earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. So he carried me away in the spirit in the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet-colored beast full of names of blasphemy 
having seven heads and ten horns. And a woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stone and pearls having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. See, the Bible just puts it straight, doesn't it? Huh? <clears throat> yeah. You say, Varga, you talk too explicitly. You, you, you say stuff that should. I'm just reading the Bible. You can't take the Bible. That's on you. I'm going to preach the Bible. I don't care what you say. And upon her forehead was the name written, Mystery Babylon, the Great. This is all in capitals, too. The mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. That's Roman Catholic Church. That's what it is. And I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints. That means the martyrs. Catholic Church has, has martyred millions of true Christians. And with the blood of the martyrs of Jesus. And when I saw her, I wondered with great admiration. You know, it's a sad thing. Today, what is today? 26th of, of December. Uh, did you know what 26th of December? It's the day after the 25th. Uh, which the filthy, rotten, whore Catholic Church calls Christ Mass. Christ Mass. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, you know, Christ Mass is a Catholic holiday. It's religion. The great whore of the Roman Catholic Church has Christ Mass and they have Easter. The great Religious holidays that will take you to hell. The Catholics say you got to go to church on Easter and Christmas, right? Or else you, you have a, a, they have venial sins, little sins. And then they have, are they, is it cardinal sins or what? Any old Catholics in here or practicing Catholics now you know about them? And like not going to church on Christmas and Easter. <laughs> yeah. I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the martyrs. Yesterday was Christ Mass. A worldly secular holiday with all this foolishness and the religious holiday of Roman Catholicism and all those other religions that will follow them. You know what happened? Uh, you know what happened yesterday? To all uh, you know what happened today to all these people that had their Christ Mass and their and their secular humanistic Christmas. Oh, you better watch out! You better not pout! You better not cry! I'm telling you why. Satan Claus is coming to town. He's making a list. He's checking it twice. I'm gonna find out who's naughty and nice. Satan Claus is coming to town. He sees you when you're sleeping. Liar! He knows when you're awake. Liar! He knows if you've been bad or good, so be good for goodness sakes. Oh, you better. Oh, what a lie. Come out of hell. You know what all them folks on the 26th after the 25th, you know what? All the air come out of their tires and out of their balloons and out of their little things. Uh, you know, down here, they got that pretty Christmas display at the, at the uh, one of the nicest ones in Volusia County, actually. Did you see down here um, by the motel over there, uh, just the other side of 11th Street? Yeah, yeah, but... but yeah, but you go down there today, look at it. What's it got? A bunch of stuff laying on the ground with all the air out of it. The air's out of your tires, Santa Claus people and and uh, Christ Mass people. The air's out of your balloon. Someone got the cheese out of your sandwich. Yeah. I'm going strong. 
Because I got me a Bible. And I got me a Savior. You better get you a Savior. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not say the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. You know the words now? Sing it with me. On Christ, the solid rock I stand. All other ground is sinking sand. All other ground is sinking sand. Get on the rock. Get on the rock. Everything's all right. Everything's all right in my father's house. In my father's house. In my father's house. Everything's all right in my father's house. And there's joy, joy, joy. Not happiness, because you know what happiness depends upon? Happiness depends upon a happening. Joy depends upon Jesus. Amen? Amen. I'm at war against the Catholic Church, the great whore. I'm at war against the Pope, the head of the Catholic Church. I mean, Antichrist. Don't you think an antichrist would, you see the antichrist, the Pope of today, he can get along with Putin. He can get along with Russia's Putin. And that little, that little dude's name from North Korea, what's his name? I don't know. That funny looking little dude. I, I ain't heard nothing about the news. I, don't, I, I haven't listened to news in 12 months. The rocket man. The rocket man. Yeah, the little rocket man. Oh, my Lord. Why don't you come out of this fantasy world and your football world and all that? And... <laughs> I ain't watch some football. I ain't gonna. One of my grandsons, one this one was another one, got me to watch a stupid Super Bowl last year. I ain't watching it this year. Brady gonna win again anyway. It don't matter. <laughs> I was talking to, I was witnessing, and in in I had to go get some milk at Publix this morning, and the, the checkout guy and the checkout woman, they're New England fans, and I had to rub it in a little bit about Brady, you know. <laughs> they hate Brady because he left New England. You know? <laughs> but Glazer, I never did like Glazer. I used to have ministry in in. Uh, I think Glaze is still the owner over there, isn't he? Probably. He's got a lot of money. He bought himself a quarterback. And then he bought himself a whole bunch of people that can catch football. Then he bought himself a few blockers. And what do you, what do you get then? You get Super Bowl rings. <laughs> That's a bought deal, you know. But I read him about Brady a little bit this morning. And I don't even know who they said. They said this, New England's first place. They probably got a bad division. That's why they're first place. I don't know. <laughs> they probably got four losses and in first place. I don't know. I ain't following football. I haven't anymore. I've got to. Just, but they ain't got Brady. They're going to lose Super Bowl. I'm just rubbing in. I'm, I'm kind of, I am an antagonist. I antagonize people. <laughs> yeah, the, Bill knows me. <laughs> it ain't right. Mike knows me. I antagonize him all the time. I'm lucky he loves me so much. He punched me in the nose a long time ago. Because I, I, I get after Mike. Because he's my friend. I love him. Friend, if I, Mike, if I didn't love you so much, I wouldn't antagonize you like I do. <laughs> he takes it, too. <laughs> God bless you, Mike. You're my friend. I love you. You know that. He wouldn't let me get away with it. Stephen, he'd have, I, I antagonize him a lot, too. But listen to me, son. I can't. You're talking about football. <laughs> <laughs> I don't let leave all that worldly stuff going to one ear and out the other. Oh, yeah. You, you watch football. You probably watched it yesterday. 
Who's that walking by? Donnie goes, who that is, whizzing by the door. Oh, that's Donnie. <laughs> He's doing his work. That man can do the work of 10 men. He is a worker. He ain't the most spiritual guy in town, but he's, he's a worker, man. That guy will work you in a minute. I'll take one worker over 10 spiritual people that wouldn't do nothing. <laughs> Sit around and pick their nose. A lot of them around. Saw a woman drunken with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the martyrs of Jesus. When I saw her, I wondered with her great admiration and the angel said unto me wherefore didst thou marvel i will tell thee the mystery of the woman and of the beast that carried her which had the seven heads and ten horns the beast that thou sawest was and is not and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit you know what that is that's hell ain't no bottom are you people that are going to hell sitting in here here today out there on the internet you be falling and falling and falling and never hit the bottom. Do you hear what said? Bottomless pit. Where is hell? Center of the earth. How can it be a bottomless pit? I don't know, but I believe it. It's in the center of the earth. Because God had opened up the earth. I, I, you, you, you can watch the National Geographic. Watch National Geographic where... It shows you the gates of hell, and it shows all these pe places where people were throwing in, uh, uh, worshiping uh, the devil and throwing in their children into the pit, into the fires of hell. And that's National Geographic to show you gates of hell. Watch that. About two hours long. I remember. Did we ever figure out that girl's name? I can't. I can't. There's a girl that used to live uh, at Victor's Happy Times Cross Street. She'd come over one Matt had me 10 years ago, now 15 years ago. She'd come over, she's scared that. She says, Pastor, I seen the gates of hell from National Geographic. She says, I'm so scared. As you listen to me preach today, you get saved. You'd be all right. Over there where you guys live. Victor used to own that over there. I wonder how Victor is. He got, he got saved one Easter Sunday years ago. I lost track of him. I hope he's all right. Someone told me he had cancer. What? Huh? Now, her name started with J, but I don't remember her name. But anyway, she come over and I said, you listen to this. She did. You know what? She was smiling at the end of the sermon. You get rid of the devil, you smile at the end of the sermon too. The beast. The beast that thou sawest was it is not shall ascend out of the bottomless pit, hell. And go into perdition. And they that dwell on the earth shall wonder whose names are not written in the book of life. You got your name written in the book of life? Hope. There's a place for everybody in the book of life. But you only get your name written in there. There's a spot for you. But the only way you get your name is there is to repent of your sins, get born again. Got to get it, Gary. I love you, man. You got to get it. I'm not going to let up on you. I'm never going to let up on you. Got to get it. You must be born again. I scream it. I still got pretty loud voice. Thank God. Thank you, Lord. I still got my mind. A lot of people say I've lost my mind because I preach so hard now. I haven't lost my mind. I just preach the Bible. You want to follow these Luciferian Bibles and and all this foolishness, and I'll try to get you out of hell best I can. You want to, you want to keep going the wrong way? That's on you. Whose name were not written. There's a place for you in the book of life, but your name ain't in there unless you repent and get born again. Come on up to an old-fashioned altar today. You're out in front of my church. Get born again. And here is a mind which hath wisdom... Verse 9, the, head, the, head, the seven heads are mountains on which the woman sitteth. Great whore, Catholic Church. There were seven kings, five are fallen, and one is, and the other is not come. 
And when he cometh, he must continue a short space. And the beast that was in it, I don't know who did. You say, well, well, who's the beast? Who's the false prophet? Who's the Antichrist? I don't care. It don't mean nothing to me. It's all of the devil. And some, oh, you got it wrong. This one's the beast or this one's the false. I don't care. They're all of the devil. It all come out of hell. And I'm not sure exactly who they were or what, but I know it's all of the devil and it'll take you to hell. You say, well, you might get it mixed up. So what? I'll tell you the truth and get you out of hell if you get saved. There were seven kings, five are found. The beast that was in his not, even as he is the eighth, and of the seven goeth into perdition. And the ten horns which thou sawest are ten kings, which have received no kingdom as yet, but received power as kings one hour with the beast. These have one mind and shall give their power and strength unto the beast. Explain to me who, I don't care who he is, but he's up to come up from hell. These shall make war with the Lamb. Capital L, Lamb, Jesus Christ. The Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. Amen? Amen. Glory. And the Lamb shall overcome them. Hoo, hoo, hoo. For he is Lord of Lords, capital L, Lord, that's Jesus. Over the little L, Lords, that's people in charge on this earth. And King of Kings, capital K. Amen. <laughs> and they that are with him are called and chosen and faithful. That's me, I hope it's you. That's me, I hope it's you. That's me, is it you? Is it you, I hope it is. Or you burn in hell. Chosen in Christ Jesus, if I repent and turn from my sin. Don't come around with this election, this damnable heresy, Calvinism, that come out of hell. I got relatives that are Calvinists. God help them. And he saith unto me, the waters which thou sawest, where the whore sitteth. Who's the whore? Catholic Church. Great whore, Catholic Church. And people and the multitudes and nations and tongues. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore. Huh. Wow, even the lost people hate the whore. <laughs> hate the whore. The ten horns hate the whore and shall make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. Whoa. For God hath put in their hearts to fulfill his will and to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast until the words of God shall be fulfilled. And the woman which thou sawest is the great city which reigneth over the kings of the earth. Now you know what city that is? Vatican. Vatican City. What a wicked place. You wouldn't believe all the wickedness and stuff they got in the basement of the Vatican and the, and the stuff. Mike's an expert on it. He, he studied it. He studied it. And, 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 and you can show the stuff they got there, the, 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 the horrible demons that they depict there. Is that right, Mike? Yes, yeah, he know all about the Vatican. You want to know about the Vatican and what they got there, you talk to Mike Sparks, he'll tell you about the Vatican. He studied it big time. He knows about the Vatican. There are a lot of things he don't know, and he got to learn yet. <laughs> but he knows about the Vatican. <laughs> huh? Walt Disney. He's a Walt Disney expert. I'm not going to tell you his shortcomings. I don't want you laughing at him. <laughs> God bless you, Mike. I ain't going to say nothing about it. What? They got artwork of the devil down in the basement of the Vatican. Oh, I know that. It, 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 the Vatican ain't nothing but the devil. The whole, everything of it. That's Luciferian big time. I've got pictures of them. They got pictures on the walls. They got paintings by all them uh, so-called uh, great artists. I'm talking about, what was what were their names? 
Leonardo da Vinci. Queer. Queer. What's the other one's name? Uh, Michelangelo. Queer. They all queers. You know what they? Uh, you know what they painted? Pictures of little boys with their private parts showing. Bunch of perverts. And they got them heroes, and they put their paintings in the in the in the great halls of of uh, modern uh, uh, art, and they're priceless. They belong to the devil. They're made by the devil. And the ten. Well, I'm I'm, I'm done. great city, the Vatican. You know, nobody knows nothing about the Vatican. They don't know how much money they got. They got billions, probably trillions of dollars worth of gold and stuff. Nobody knows about their finances. They do what they want. They kill popes. It's a, it's, it's a secret society controlled by Satan himself. That's the Vatican. The Catholic Church is a great whore. The Pope is the Antichrist. Forget about all this foolishness that culminated yesterday on the 25th of December. Christ Mass. Devil's Holiday. Religion. Roman Catholicism. All of the Bibles that are not the King James Bible are Luciferian Bibles, and their granddaddy, all of them, is the Horton Westcott text who were dirty, filthy Catholics. Look it up historically. Boy, preachers and people really fight me on this Bible. They fight Brother Bill, too. They, they won't listen, will they, Bill? They won't listen. Because Satan's got their heart. Lucifer, the dragon. Michael's an expert on, on Lucifer and the, and the dragon, too. He knows about that, too. Done three things. He knows about Catholics. He knows about Disney. And he knows about the dragon. Yeah. There was a war in heaven. I just, we just had it yesterday. Glad you mentioned that. Huh. Let's go back a page. Yeah. Where is that? I think it was in the last chapter. Got Armageddon. Where was that? Was it 15? I thought it was 16. What chapter is that in? It's right here. It's right here, just ahead of it. When when Lucifer got. Okay, oh, no, it was in Old Testament. I was reading it. But anyway, there was a war in heaven. And Lucifer got thrown out. And about a third of the angels, they're the demons that are all around now. How many of you know you got some? They weren't here all along. They got thrown out of heaven. They got thrown out of heaven. They weren't on the earth before they got thrown out of heaven. Well, I'll straighten you out on that later. They got thrown out of heaven with Lucifer. Yeah. Yeah. They weren't on earth all the time. They were, no, no. Oh, they got thrown out. What, what, where, where is it, Donnie? Twelve. Twelve down under six and seven. Twelve? Yes. All right, thank you. We know he was here from the, from the garden. And there was war, verse 7, in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. That's Lucifer. And the dragon fought and his angels. That's a third of the angels here. 
and prevailed not, neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil. And Satan, he's got different names, Lucifer, the devil, Satan, Apollyon, on and on. He's got a lot of different names. Which deceived the whole world. Amen. Is he deceiving you today? Huh? He was cast out on the earth and his angels were cast out with him. That's what I'm talking about right there. They got cast out of heaven. And that's the demons here now. I don't know. Yeah, there was bad before that, but I don't think the demons did. Just these demons were different. I don't know. I ain't got the answer for what you do. But uh, if I ain't got an answer, I don't change the Bible. This Lucifer and his demons, they were cast out of heaven. Now, you say, wasn't there no bad here? Yeah, there was. You say, tell me about it. I ain't sure. But, I, but, 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 but I'm, a, uh, I'm a good enough dummy that don't know everything to admit it. I don't have to explain everything in the Bible. All I have to do is take what I, what I can and take what it says and preach it. That's all I need. Let's get right with God today. What's your sin? Raise your hand if you can think about it right now. What's your sin? What's your sin? Raise your hand. What's your sin? See y'all? Yeah, we all got sin. What do you got to do? You got you, you to gotta repent. The day of foolishness and covering our sin is gone because you ain't covering it with God. You can fool your mama. You can fool your husband or your wife. You can fool the preacher, but you can't fool God. He knows all about us, doesn't he? He knows all about our sin. And you know about it too because you just raised your hand. About everybody in the place raised their hand. And if you didn't, you ain't, you ain't honest. I read a lot of the Bible every day. I read, 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 read. Read 139 again, Psalm, last two verses, huh? 23, 24. Search me, O God, and try me. See if there be any wicked way in me, and lead me in the way of everlasting. Amen? Confess your sin. He's faithful and just to forgive you your sin and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Come on, all was up here. Come on. Why don't you get it right? You know what it is. Why don't you get it right? Come on. Why don't you get it right? Come on, Tara. Time to come. Get it right, girl. Come on. Everyone that raises your hand, you need to get it right. Why, why are you going to carry it out with you? You got that big pack on your back like, like Christian did in, uh, uh, in uh, Pilgrim's Progress. That's a great book. Read Pilgrim's Progress. Second most sold book in the world next to the Bible, Pilgrim's Progress. I read Pilgrim's Progress over and over and over. It's wonderful. Yeah? You don't read it. You don't read the Bible either. You just let your demons... They got you, but you won't flee them because you love them and you hug them. You love them and you hug them. Ain't you, ain't you tired of this foolishness? Get right with God. Get the air back in your tires. Get the cheese back in your sandwich. Get a whole order of French fries, amen? <laughs> Get the joy of the Lord. Why are you going to go with that backpack of sin and wickedness on your back? Some of you never been here before. Time to get right with God. Some of you been here for plenty of times, but... You were right with God, now you're not. You've got to get right with God again. Get right every day if you have to. We all got to get right something every day. Amen? KK, I still got your Luciferian Bible. Where's KK? Yeah, KK. You know what I'm going to do on it? Someone, hey, Donnie, give me the uh, 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 that lighter fluid that we got in. I uh, said it, it's dangerous. I'm going to load this thing up with lighter fluid and burn it out on the parking lot today. You want to say, want, want, you, you gonna, I wouldn't burn a Bible. That's a King James' only Bible. I'll burn this sucker right out on the, 
Holy Bible, it says. KK's Bible. <laughs> KK, you got to be sure to stick around. We're going to put lighter fluid on. That thing's going to go. She got her real Bible now in her head. Loose frame Bible, and there are plenty of others. Anybody else got a loose frame Bible they want to burn? We'll put it, we'll squirt some lighter fluid on it, it'll go up fast. <coughs> Glory. He's your crazy, Mark. I don't need to call me anything you want. I just believe the Bible. I don't care what you say. Let God be true and every man a liar. Let God be true and every man a liar. Why don't you take that position? Yeah. Pray. Lord, thank you. Revelation 17. Great whore, Catholic Church, the Antichrist, the Pope. Donnie brought us back to 12 when Lucifer, the devil, was cast out of heaven. And his demon angels with him. We've got to get rid of him. We need to be cleansed through the blood of the Lamb. God help us. You're not saved. You know you're not saved. Why don't you get saved today? If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in thine heart, God, and raise him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. And the Bible says, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Is the Holy Spirit talking to you? Would you repent? Would you turn? Turn or burn. Turn or burn. Turn or burn. Repent. Pray the sinner's prayer with me. Dear Lord Jesus, I believe you died for me and you shed your precious blood on Calvary's cross and rose from the grave the third day, the best I know how, with an honest heart, I turned from my sins receive you as my Savior. Thank you for saving me right now. Our heads are bowed, our eyes are closed. You that have prayed that prayer, come on up to the altar and I'll kneel at the altar. I prayed the prayer. I was serious. I repented. Come up to the altar and kneel. Come on. Come on. I heard you praying. Did you mean it? You didn't? Oh, okay. If you didn't, then stay in your seat. If you meant it, Everybody God called, he called publicly. Called publicly. Everybody God called, he called publicly. Come. There's room at the cross for you. There's room at the cross for you. Though millions have come, there's still room for one. Yes, there's room at the cross for you. Lord, thank you for these that have been saved here and out in the viewing audience. We're thankful for the blood of Christ and the power of the resurrection. We're thankful that you love all of us and anyone that will repent can be saved. I'm thankful I was saved April 4th, 1969. I'm thankful that others that have been saved here and thankful for those that have been saved today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You're so good. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Thank you, Lord, for making me whole. Thank you, Lord, for giving to me thy great salvation, so rich and free. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you.